Example 3-1 in the old edition. In the new fourth edition, it is example 3-3. During a non-flow process, the volume of a gas remains constant. So clearly this is a constant volume process. So let's uh, annotate it. You are told the initial specific internal energy is 290 kilojoules per kilogram and the specific internal energy is 250 kilojoules per kilogram. So you are given the specific internal energy at the final and the initial. So we know the change. You are asked to calculate the heat transfer for the process. So the heat transfer, if you recall, you are required to calculate Q. And you are asked, is the heat lost or gained by the fluid? In other words, is Q positive or negative. Right, we are ready to start. Constant volume, the initial volume is equal to the final volume. Because of this, as a consequence of this, there is no work done. W is equal to zero. So, if we look at our first law for a non-flow process, we can write it out now as follows. Q minus W is equal to delta U. But W is equal to zero. Therefore, the heat transfer Q is equal to the change of the internal energy. So, what we need to do is, if we know the change of the internal energy, we will be able to calculate the heat transfer. Now, remember, the internal energy is computed in the following way. It is equal to U2 minus u1. Let's proceed. The final we are told is 250 and the initial is equal to 290. This works out to be minus 40 kilojoule. So to answer the question, is the heat lost or gained by the fluid? Now once you have a negative sign, you know that heat leaves the system. Heat is lost. Okay, so we'll conclude by writing the following. So, to conclude, we can say heat is lost from the system.